The st uh, stocks in the tank, uh, the good news is uh, they were a lot worse in the tank early in the day. This latest hissy fit coming amid calls for more big bailouts in Europe. The Dow down 240 points early this morning, finishing down about 100. McDonald's, a uh, big drag on the Dow. The stock plunging after its revenues fell short of estimates. The fast food chain pointing to a slowing global economy for that. Despite today's sell-off, Craig Smith says there is no time for more bailouts. But that's exactly what they're talking about, Craig, to do this all over again. Yeah, and you know, Neil, you would think that they learned as a direct result of what we did in 2008. I mean, we bailed the banks out, we went through QE1, QE2, we did all these things with the Fed, and we've actually made things worse. And I would like to think that the Europeans could go to school on us, learn, Neil, and learn that a little bit of creative destruction within the system right now, right now would probably be very good to purge out some of the excesses that we've had after years of profligate spending and huge increases in debt. Well, not you, Craig, but it's your selfish colleagues in the markets who want that government help, right? <laughs> they run up on the notion that they're going to get it, and if they don't get it, they have a hissy fit like my kids. You're absolutely correct, Neil. I mean, let's be honest about it. You, you know, especially Fox Business, you cover it. You watch the people that say, we're expecting the Fed to go ahead and give us more QE or give us more printing or, or right. extend Operation Twist so that will help make the market go higher. But look, that doesn't surprise me because one of Ben Bernanke's uh, targets was he wanted to improve equities, Neil. He wanted the market to increase. Why? Because he, ha he was scared to death of a deflationary spiral. So if he can see increases in the Dow and maybe have it sh uh, go into the housing market, that would benefit it. But well, let look. me ask you that, Craig. If you, if you went cold turkey uh, on these guys and, and, and the, their government said, no, it, it ends, uh, and Germany says, no, it ends, it rescues end, U.S. banks, that's it, it's over, it would be a big hit, right? But you would argue it would be like ripping a a Band-Aid off. Better that than doing it slowly? Absolutely. This whole bit about the world will come to an end, Neil, three weeks it took for them to get the tarp passed. And every time on Friday we were told, if we don't get it by Monday, the markets won't right. open. Here, here's, here's the problem. We had this happen before. Look at Ronald Reagan. What did he have to do? He had to allow interest rates to go up. He allowed a huge contraction to occur. CapEx and hiring dropped initially. He was looked at as a villain for the first two years of his administration. But he set the stage after that very painful contraction into two decades of incredible growth. Neil, You're we've right. got to squeeze the excesses out of this market until we do it. We're just shooting more morphine into a patient. We are not doing the proper surgery that needs to be done. Well put. Greg Smith, Swiss America CEO in Phoenix. Good seeing you again. Good seeing you, Neil. Well, you heard about Mickey D's beef. We're going to go to the